Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat, and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library Podcast. I'm your host, Rocky Romanella, and we are continuing our series of the five ways to keep your top earners and employees when you can't offer a raise or promotion. Number four, I think, is a very interesting one, and number four is effectively resolve problems. Now, that sounds pretty straightforward, but to me, what that really means is be a good listener. Nobody knows the business better than the people who execute the business every day, who are people who are working on your front line, the people who are working closest to your customers, the people who are working on the floor, the people who are executing your brand, executing your brand promise every day. You effectively resolve problems by listening. They know where the problems are. They, they understand the festering things that are going out on inside the shop floor, for example. And so I think it's important that you understand that that open door policy is more than just telling me about a problem, a significant problem, but also talking to me about those problems that are festering out there, the things that make our people unhappy, the things that we believe we're doing well or doing for the right reasons. But when it gets down to our, our folks, our people in our organization, they don't feel the same way we do. So I think it's important for you to be a good listener. I think we talk a lot about this topic of walk the talk and getting out of your office and walking around and talking to people. Well, if you really are a good listener and you're an approachable leader, then the minute you walk up to someone and say, hey, what's going on? They're going to tell you what's going on. But if they don't believe you care or they don't believe you're that good listener, they're just not going to, they're going to say, yeah, everything's fine. So I think it's important for you to be a good listener and to effectively resolve problems by being a good listener and wanting to know what are the problems and then understanding what's going on out there and understand who are those individuals. Now, on the other side of that equation, the thing you got to guard against is that person that just wants to hear their opinions heard. And they tell they're the, if it's the same person bringing you all the same problems, and ironically, the problems solve their issues all the time, you got to be a little wary of that. But at the end of the day, it's so important that you resolve these problems because people will leave if they think their their voice isn't heard or what they're going through doesn't mean anything. And so it, I might as well leave. I think the other thing is, is when people look around and there's no value in being good. In other words, I'm a good employee. I'm always taking on extra work. I'm always doing more things. But the person over there in the corner isn't doing, isn't pulling their weight. People wonder like, when is someone going to do something about this? And if you don't do anything about that, then, then you're not really effect, effectively resolving a problem. That's a problem. People are like, well, if there's no value in being good, why be good? And if, there, if there's no value in being good and I'm not good, I'm probably not going to get promoted here. So it may be time for me to move on and let me find a place that, pe that people value what good looks like and people value good employees. So number four for us in this five ways is effectively resolve problems. The best way to effectively resolve problems is to go listen, go look. And really look, listen with an open mind and an open heart and try to understand what are the faults that lie within our organization. Take ownership of them. If an apology is necessary, apologize. But take the initiative to resolve these problems in a timely and effective way so people can believe that you truly care in resolving these issues and care about them as individuals. Thank you for joining us on today's uh, podcast of the Leadership Library as we're talking about the five ways to keep your top earners. And today was number four, effectively resolving problems. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Leadership Library, a bi-weekly podcast designed to help you find your leadership aha moment. To access Rocky Romanella for consulting, keynote speaking, or training your business, head to tightenthelugnuts.com. You can also head to tightenthelugnuts.com and click the link for Leadership Library to see this episode or every episode recorded by Rocky Romanella in the Leadership Library. And until next episode, remember, 
The speed of the leader determines the pace of the pack. 